so next question is saying we need to design dfa to accept strings that ends with 00, zero. so what are the strings that end with 00, zero? if you have single 00, zero, it is ending with 00, zero. if you have 000, zero, zero it is ending with 00, zero. if you have 100, zero, zero, it is ending with 00, zero. if you have 000, zero, 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 ending with 00, zero, 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 01, zero, zero, and so on. So all the strings should end with 00. zero. Initially, we can have any symbol, we can have 1 or we can have 0. So what we are going to do here is, we are at state A, because number of zeros, number of ones are zero here. We need to have at least two zeros. We need to have at least two zeros. Initially, whatever number of ones we are getting, because we are not counting the number of ones, we are only counting the number of zeros. So as soon as we get one zero, make a transition from state to state B. Now the number of zeros are one. As soon as we get one more zero, make a transition from state B to state D and we are accepting it because we are assuming that string is ending. Right, so but here in this case we can have n number of zeros. We can have see here in this case we made a transition for zero, but we did not make a transition for one. So if you get one more one, if you get one here, then we again we are making a transfer from state B to state A. And here, if you are getting n number of zeros, we are staying at state D. If you are getting at least one one, then we are making a transfer from state D to state A. So how I did it, it is very easy to understand. So let me uh, explain it again. What we are doing is, we are reading a string from left to right. And we are assuming that every time we are reading the string, the end may come. For example, here in this case, if you are reading one zero, we made a transition from A to B. If you are reading the second zero, we are making a transition from B to D. So we are actually checking what are the number of zeros we are getting we can have any uh, we can have nothing b before this for example if we are having epsilon here right again you can check by reading the first string we are assuming that one zero is there by reading the second string we are assuming that string is ending and we are at state d by looking reading the third zero it doesn't matter why because the number of string is still ending with zero zero so we are staying at state d if you check this one the first symbol is one so we are staying at state a Next is for subsequent zero, we make a transition. Now, even if you check any random string, for example, if you check this string from the first zero, we make a transition from A to B, we assume that end is there. But because we are getting a one, that means the pattern is breaking, we need a zero zero. So again, we are coming back to state A. Whenever the pattern is breaking, we are coming back to state A. And again, if you get zero zero, we will end up at state D. In any case, for example, if you have strings like this, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. If you check this string, from all these beginning string, we make a transition from state A to state D. We'll state at state D here. We'll state at state D here. As soon as we get a 1, we make a transition from D to A. By looking at a 0, we make a transition from A to B. By looking this two ones, we again staying at state A. By looking at last two zero, we again make a transition from state A to state D. After reading the complete string, if we are at final states, that means the string is accepted. Therefore, this one is also okay. We have done this. Now let us do the next one. Now the next question is: Design a DFA to accept the language L, where L is strings in which A, in which A, always appears tripled over summation is equal to a comma b so it is a always appears triple that means a should be in consecutive a should be consecutive uh, triple a for example we can have string we can have a string which is a a a we can have a string which is b b b b b b b b b b or a a a b and so on. See, we are not putting any restriction on number of A's. We are only putting restriction on number of A's. They are saying whenever there should be A, whenever there will be A, A will always be tripled. That means there will be three consecutive A. If you are not getting three consecutive A, then the string should not be accepted. Okay, we can have any number of B's, but we cannot have B like this. 
A B A. This is not allowed. Why? Because in this case we are breaking the pattern. We are breaking the pattern. Uh, every A should be consecutive. Okay. So initially we had to state A. We can have any number of D's at this state because uh, we are not expecting any A. As soon as we get an A, now there should be three A's. Now there should be three A's. There should be three A's. And then we will accept it. But after between these A's, if you get any B, that means the pattern is breaking. So we should not accept it. We should reject everything. If you get any B in middle, we should reject it. But after this triple A, we can have again have any number of B's. So we can again again have any number of B's. Okay. And because initially it is allowed, because initially number of B's are number of B's are even and it is allowed. Okay. You can further minimize it. Uh, what you can do here is you can make it like this. Initial state is A. Initial state is A. We can have any number of B's in beginning. As soon as we get one A, then we should get three A's. C again. If we are getting three A's again, we are to state A. If you get any number of B in middle, any B in middle, that means the string should not be accepted. That means the string should not be accepted. You can clearly see how I'm drawing this one. I'm assuming that uh, after getting the three consecutive A's, we should always reach a final state. But between these three consecutive A's, if you get a B in middle, that means that should not be accepted. Okay, that, that should not be accepted. So this is also done. Let us do the next one. Next is design a DFA to accept the string L where all the strings L are such that the total number of A's in them are divisible by 3. The total number of A's in them is divisible by 3. So what is the difference between the above question? Here the number of A's should always be consecutive. They should always be consecutive. They cannot have this thing. But here this thing is allowed. Here this thing is allowed because they are not putting in a restriction that number of A's should always be consecutive. They are only saying that number of A's should be divisible by 3. So we have already done these kind of questions but let me do it again. So initial state it is A. We can have any number of B's because we are not counting B's. Initially number of A's are even. So so number of A's are divisible by 3. The number of A's are 0. Still it is divisible by 3. So it is a final state. As soon as we get a A. Now if we get 3 A's then only we should reach here. Because after 3 A's it should be counting of 3. For example 0 A's. Again 3 A's. Again 6 A's. Again 9 A's and so on. As soon as we get number of A's which are divisible by 3 we should reach the state. And in middle we can have any number of B's. In middle, we can have any number of B's because we are not putting any restriction on number of B's. We are only saying that we should reach the final state only if we get number of A's which are divisible by 3. For example, 0 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 3 A's. Okay. And the last one is construct a DFA which accepts the string on 0, 1 except those containing the substring 101 that means if if 101 is there it should not be accepted if 101 as a substring is there it should not be accepted okay so initially we are at state a it should be accepted because uh, initially number of a's and number of b's are zeros right so we can have sorry no, we can number of zeros and number of ones are zeros we can have n number of zero in beginning as soon as we get one, one, I will assume that this pattern will start. And if we get again one zero, again if we get one, then it should not be accepted. Anything else other than it should be accepted, right? After this, anything you can get, you can get zero or one. It should never be accepted. This is state B, this is state C, and this is state D. Here we can have any number of ones. We'll always stay there. We can have any number of zeros. So we can have a number of ones again if you get a zero here that means the pattern is breaking 
if we again get one zero zero again we are looking for one zero one and this should be accepted like fine this is fine so what we are doing here is we'll assume that we'll get this one zero one we're assuming that we are getting this one zero one one zero one and if you are not having this one zero one, we are again going back to state. You see, this is very simple to understand. I think I, after doing so many questions, I don't need to explain what I have done here. But if you feel any problem, just let me know. Because this, this DFA is explaining itself. If you feel that I need to explain this more, just let me know in the comment section. I will uh, reply or I will make a video for this. Okay. So let us move on to the next questions now.